This will be the final video of the Theory of the Firm series. So this is video number 11. And in this video, I'm going to discuss the alternative goals of firms. So the previous video in this series was talking about profits. And it ended with talking about profit maximization. But it's important to remember that not all firms or all entrepreneurs seek to maximize this pro their profits. I know this might be a little bit hard to believe, but realistically, not all entrepreneurs or all fir firms are out there to maximize their profits. There are, believe it or not, alternative goals for firms. We're going to look at four main goals. The first one could be revenue maximization. Some firms don't really seek to maximize profit. They just seek to maximize their sales revenue. Uh, maximizing your sales revenue or reaching the highest total revenue occurs when you produce at an output where marginal revenue equals zero. Some firms pursue growth maximization goals. So what they want is to seek to achieve growth and to gain a larger market share. So they're not motivated by um, maximizing their profit. They just want to gain a larger market share and dominate as much of the market as they can. That is a valid alternative goal for a firm or an entrepreneur. Some entrepreneurs or some firms are just out there um, with satisfying, satisfying goals. Now, this means that they just seek to perform satisfactorily in order to be able to pursue other goals. So they're just happy, those entrepreneurs, they just want to make a reasonable living, but they also want to be able to pursue ledger and do other things. A lot of entrepreneurs out there just want to earn a reasonable living that covers their costs, including the opportunity cost of running their own business, and just make a reasonable living and pursue other goals. And that is a perfectly valid goal for a firm. Um, the fourth goal um, that we need to be familiar with is seeking to be corporate and socially responsible. So corporate social responsibility, CSR. Some firms attempt to include the public interest in their decision making by adopting an ethical code that accepts responsibility for the impact of this firm's activities on its workforce or maybe the consumers or the local community or even the environment or a combination of all. Consumers now are becoming a lot more aware and they're becoming um, a lot more ethical and demanding more ethical business practices from businesses. So many businesses are starting to pursue corporate social responsibility. So it's very inaccurate to say that all businesses or all entrepreneurs are out there to maximize profits. There are other goals that businesses and entrepreneurs can pursue, like growth maximization, like revenue maximization, maybe even satisfying goals or corporate social responsibility. I hope you enjoyed this video and this series. Have a great day.